I think looking back on the decision to have the minimally invasive procedure, I now can be in a position to recommend to friends and family members who are experiencing similar problems to not put this health issue on hold. It, it's something that I look back on and think, wow, it was too, it seems like it was the recovery time was about two weeks for me. I mean, I really came back really fast. I know I was, you know, fairly in shape going into the procedure, but I, I came out healing rather quickly. And the benefits of this procedure for me have just increased, you know, just me being able to enjoy my life. It's something that, you know, like I said, two weeks of recovery time and um, not a lot of unmanageable pain and discomfort from the procedure. And, you know, I had a pretty good relationship with Dr. Jaglin going in, so I trusted him. I mean, what he was telling me, he knew that I liked to do things and um, he felt like this would be a good match for me. So there was a good patient, you know, doctor relationship and there was the trust factor there. I mean, I trusted that he was steering me in the right direction. But um, the thought of being cut from side to side and, and having a traditional procedure would have been weeks. It would have been six to eight weeks worth of recovery time. And um, the patients that I've talked to that have had that procedure have had a longer road to recovery. It's, you know, kind of like having a C-section, you know, where you're, you know, you're really cut wide open and there's a lot of soreness. There's a lot of um, just additional recovery. There's a lot more bleeding and so on and so forth. So um, it, it really worked in well with my lifestyle. So in total, I've done 21 marathons, at least 20 half marathons, two full distance Ironman, triathlons, probably six half-distance Ironmans, and countless, you know, sprint triathlons and Olympic distance triathlons. And my future goals are, um, in 2013, I want to do that. I registered for Ironman Texas in May, and that's a full-distance triathlon. And in addition, in 2013, I want to do the Pikes Peak Marathon in August. And that's, uh, that's been on my list for a while, um, but I have to really set my mind to the, you know, the pain and the what's going to come from climbing 14,000 feet up and back down. So um, that's, that's kind of what's on the horizon for me for next year.